What is up? Everybody, welcome back to the Burn Down YouTube channel. And we got ourselves in a pickle, boys. I did something that I know better than doing while I even did it. And I even told myself, eh. And then I gave myself that whole like, well, we got a 50-50 shot. It's either going to work or it's not. Well, it didn't. So we are on the boom <laughs> once again. And we are doing dumb stuff now. So the oil pressure, if you watched the last video, in my opinion, was unacceptable. Where are you boys at? Where are you guys at? Oh, don't tell me I already lost the magic fix over here. So the oil pressure was unacceptable. And I bought a brand new oil pump O-ring, right? So every time you replace the oil pump, I preach this to everybody. Like, if you're gonna, there's like critical things. The oil pump O-ring is critical. You need a new fresh one. And it has to, you have to fight it to put it in. I don't know how some of you guys, like people are like, oh, I just put it in. Like everyone that I've had that actually worked properly, I've had to like put it into the point where I'm like, dude, I don't know if this thing's gonna actually fit. And it's all greased up, lubed up, and you're like, come on, and then it bah, goes in. Those are the ones that always work for me. Um, I've done some where you, where you, you put some pressure on it, right? And you think like, oh, that's good. And it has like a, a pop, like it goes in, but you can pull it and it'll come out. But I don't know how to explain it other than if you're not struggling your face off to put the thing on, it seems like you could possibly have the issue we have, which is the oil pressure bleeds off as you drive it. The oil pressure kind of gets warm and it bleeds off. And it's funny because it's done this before. If you watch really old videos, you guys probably haven't even seen them, but I struggled with oil pressure on this thing and it was a junkyard engine. The thing was terrible and everybody's like, get your bearings, it's this, it's that, it's all everything, right? It ended up being the, the damn O-ring and then that time I was so frustrated because I ended up having to do it twice. I did it one time and thought I licked it and then I'm like, you know what, I just, I gotta try again. So the second time I ended up getting a new pump and an O-ring and then the problem was cured. No bearings, no nothing. And that was a 5.3 that ended up running the freaking wheels out on the thing for, you know, on this. So. Um, again, all the other pieces are new on the motor. Could I have screwed something up? Yeah, possibly, but I'm going with my gut and I know that that O-ring in my brain is not tight enough. So we've got dual boys. So I went and visited my buddy Jim and these are the big fatty man pajamas. So on the pickup and everything that's in here, you're supposed to run like the red and then this is the aftermarket green. And it's funny because I don't know what the hell the deal is with these things. I don't have like a caliper or a mic or nothing. Let me see if I can line them up. These are two different shades kind of. But you can see, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but the other, the shiny guy, the one on the bottom, is actually even bigger than this one. So you can see this one's kind of shiny and this one's kind of dull. So this dude's even bigger than this dude. And I think center-wise, we're good, right? So this is going to be the guy that we're going to try. And um, I'll show you what's in there. The one that's in there... It's not even round. I mean, I'll just be honest with you. It was smashed in there. Probably got baked from the oil getting hot on race week or whatever. But that was what I had. I'm like, well, this one worked when I took it out. And apparently, it saw better days on race week. So today, we're going to start disassembling things. Uh, we'll see if we can get everything off the top of the engine. i got to put a plate on it, lift it. We're going to try to do this O-ring in the car, which is a pain. Because the engine hoist has to sit here to hold the engine up, right? To drop the pan. So I get to work around the engine hoist and it's uncomfortable and crappy, but that's what you get for not listening to yourself. You gotta listen to yourself. So anyway, that is the long intro to my misery today. So we'll see how far we can get today. It's the afternoon. Uh, I'm not feeling too froggy crazy, but I'm hoping to get this thing back and fired up before the weekend. We're about midweek right now and uh, we'll get it back, fi back and fired up and hopefully the oil pressure, because I know it's going to jump up when it fires because it still does now, but it it gets to about 30 something 35 cold and then it slowly creeps down i cruised it all around yesterday and got it pretty warm nothing too crazy heat wise and the thing got down to like 16 psi so no bueno so let's change this all ring out and then hopefully that that should be our fix i'm like 95 percent sure if that doesn't fix it then we got some real issues to look for but i think we're good because i know for a fact that that old ring is no bueno <laughs> Here we go boys, this is this is what you get for being a bonehead. Can't even take the deal off. But we're gonna empty the oil into here. Let's call it a day. 
and then we'll replace it. I got a treat for you guys when it comes to putting the oil back in here. I'm sure you'll be pretty excited. So hopefully we can get that far today. Eh, at least the oil looks good, huh? Nice and clean. So we'll let that drain out and then we break the engine mounts loose. And we'll have at it, but yeah. Engine oil is not cheap right now either, but good thing that was just the O'Reilly brand engine oil. Plus, technically, it has all the break-in stuff, all the lube that I put in the motor anyway. So, it is what it is. We'll just call it spent. And we'll start over with fresh oil. We'll leave the filter on there though, because that can be good for at least, I don't know, a few events. <laughs> All right, we got all the bolts and everything out, but I'll show you guys, we are just shy, it won't clear. Where it drops down inside, I can't get it out because it hits this and I can't jack the motor up anymore. If I could go a little bit more, we could possibly get, maybe we'll, let's see if we can jack it up just a tad bit more, but I don't, everything's kind of hidden, man. I don't want to tear stuff up. Let's see if we'll go just a bit more if we, well, that's almost touching there. Yeah, we're not gonna clear it. Yeah, so. Anyway, I can get to that, which is the pan that holds the pan. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm tired. I need some coffee dipstick too. So we can get to that. And then on the front, I can wiggle it down this way. Well. Anyway, so there's one Allen and then one is up here. So I think I can fit an actual Allen to take those out. So we'll take that other bolt off. I'll we'll see if I can get these out. See if we can pop it down. If we can pull it out, we can put one in, right? Okay, so I can already hear the comment section now from the old interwebs about how it's probably not this and you probably whatever. So I'm working on this, I got one bolt out. This pan is killing me, but if I had two hands, here, let me situate this, because I gotta show you guys this. We are on the short bus rolling down Struggle Street right now. Stay, please. See this? See that? If this thing was in there and it was tight, it wouldn't wiggle so there's no ring in there we're gonna pull it out right now but yeah if it had a nice tight bam fit it would when you went to pull it out it would be hard to pull out it wouldn't go oh look look wiggle wiggle so don't do this to yourself boys so you know when you're working on your car your project and you frequently start using curse words maybe you curse a lot to begin with maybe you don't i'm not really all into cursing all that much but I notice that they start the f-bombs start dropping and then I get to the point to where I want to either throw something or break something and then we get past that point you know you, you feel like you want to punch somebody in the face because you're working on your project and you're getting just angry for no reason well you shouldn't do those things uh, and you should stop take a break have a cup of coffee and then I'll show you the o-rings uh, that were the issue or the o-ring so that's good coffee by the way this is what we pulled out so you can see the shape of that versus the shape of this so it has like a almost a bevel so it's up in there like that it's the shape of the pump but i think this dog got cooked a bit on like race week and i i had a red one i don't know where it is but i went and bought a red one because that's the one that's supposed to go in there and these green ones seem a little fatter than the red ones and um I didn't like the way the red one fit and I was like, well, this one worked, so maybe it'll work again. Well, it didn't. So now we've got um, a couple of these guys. So like I said, I think this is gonna be our guy of choice, but this one looks the same as what we had that worked when it was round. Again, it has a bevel on it. You know, it's not round and bulgy. So we'll sneak one of these guys in there. We'll get it all lubed up. Like I said, I think this guy's a little bit larger. We'll go with this and we'll lube it up and then um, 
we're gonna hang this up let's do that right now so we don't forget because every time I want a reminder just like this with the transmission uh, that that guy will get you so he will get you maybe I'll make a necklace maybe I could wear it to LS fest but yeah let me uh lube this up if I can just pop that piece in putting the pan back on isn't too big of a deal but man getting those allens is just like that's where the what's that's where the f-bombs and the face punching comes in but we'll get it uh let me finish my coffee take a break chill out and then uh we're gonna get you boom <laughs> oil pan is in let's make sure it's clear let's lower it down we'll put it back on the mounts and then that's where we're gonna wrap for today it's getting dark gotta have dinner and everything but yeah this o-ring i had to fight to get it in so feeling pretty good about it so let me set it down see if it'll go back to its home then we'll wrap this <laughs> Victory is ours. Sweet, sweet victory. So I'm gonna make a note. We gotta put oil and everything back on and all the drains and all that stuff. Again, I don't have time this evening, but getting that O-ring back in there uh, was big and I'm, I'm very confident that that is gonna be our fix. We'll bring it back next time. We'll put it all on there. We'll heat it up. Maybe we'll take it, drive around a little bit more. And then uh, we are gonna fix that hot side issue because I don't want to cook this alternator. I can't just keep replacing alternators. I don't want to, <laughs> but you know what? We changed the bracket. We got those awesome brackets from War. Now we need to make those work with what we got. So we'll do that because when I get to LS Fest, I just want to do all this now. Because when I go out there, I want to have fun, get seat time, race buddies, shake hands, kiss babies. You guys know the drill. So until next time, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, share. I'm out.